hello students welcome once again and this time we are solving um convergence of a series and we are looking um at power series so we have this question which says what values of s is the series the summation at the start from n equal to one goes to infinity n factorial s to the power n is convergent so what value of s will make um the series here to be convergent and this is what we are going to look at now one thing about look about power series or series is that you have to know what kind of test you have to use in this case now in this case we have factorial here and one 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 um, one trick is that when you get um, um a series or in a form of a formula and you see factorial normally the best thing the best test to use is the um is the ratio test so we are going to use the ratio test are going to use a ratio test because of um because of um, the factorial because of the factorial so we are using the ratio test because of the and having the factorial over here so let's quickly move on now we have um so we say that let a n so we are letting a n denote the n term the number of tens of m so we are letting a n to denote the number of tens of n n terms n terms of the sequence so of the series a n so a n will be equal to this now we are going to make an assumption over here because we have to find the value of s for which the series is convergent so we say that um we let x not equal to zero so if s is not equal to zero then let's look at how the equation will look like now we'll find the value of x when uh, we'll find um the limit of a n so we have find the limit of the limit as n approaches infinity of a n now we say that a n we are using the word the ratio test now for the ratio test we have um this this denotes the ratio test for the ratio test we have a n plus one over a n and that's a test we are going to use as a ratio test so um we have um, the limit as n is approaching infinity of a n which is equal to the limit of as n approaches infinity now a n plus one so wherever we see n we add plus one to it so now from the equation we have um, n factorial s to the power n so a n is basically um n the n factorial over here we add plus one we just add plus one to it and still with the factorial then then the x over here we have n x n plus one divided by the a n which is just that then we have s to the power that and it is to that the absolute value of that now since we have this let's see whether we can cancel some some of it out now we have this so in order to get uh, to expand this is basically now the next term the next factorial term will be minus one so subtract one from here now when we subtract one from here we have n factorial right and this can be written as s to the power n and also x is to the same if the basis are the same indices you add the exponent when i add the exponent i'll get n plus one all over n factorial and s to the power n now what is going to happen in this case that s n s to the power n will cater for this n factorial also goes away now we have the limit as n is approaching infinity we have um our n plus one then multiplied by x factorial now we made an assumption that when we should let s not equal to zero so let's take it for instance if s is not equal to zero and it is any any number at all then which means that if um, n is approaching infinity so it's just infinity plus one then just x now where where x 
x is not zero so when s is not zero there which means that our limit will then go to infinity because if s is any number yeah apart from zero then factorial multiplied by the any number not equal to zero then it will be infinity so our limit is equal to infinity and therefore our limit is equal to infinity for so for x not equal to zero then it diverges so our series is diverging now the question says that we should find the value of s for which the series is convergent so for the value of, of s for which the series is divergent is when s is not equal to zero which means that if s which means that which means that the series the series will only converge it will only converge when x is equal to zero so the value of s for um for the series to converge is when s is only equal to zero so when s is only equal to zero then the series will converge right but apart from that when it is not equal to zero then it will diverge because look at in this case when um we find the limit as n is approaching infinity then we have over here we have um the absolute of n plus one then um that of x here now when s is equal to zero what will happen any number multiplied by zero is zero so everything goes to zero which means that it is converging it is converging or like this case where s is not equal to zero then it will be equal to infinity because if s is one it is positive integers negative integers then we are having our answer to be um infinity but when s is equal to zero then the series will converge so uh, the values for s for the series to converge is that s should be s should be equal to zero so thank you very much for joining me section then we'll meet for another section yeah.